So somebody asked me if I was going to be using the SL2S, the like SL2S as my backup. And yes, that's what my plans were. Um, but they were that. You cannot make this shit up. <laughs> so when I first got the camera, I was, I was messing around with the camera to learn how to use it, learn the settings and so forth. And when I shut the camera off, the top screen, you know, the nu numbers and letters went off and everything, but there was still this glow to it. And it took a while for that to go away. And I was like, I was confused and I'm thinking, you know, maybe it's like the car headlights when you shut off the car and the headlights stay on. <laughs> but it happened a couple more times and I was kind of concerned about it, but figured, you know, maybe that's what the thing is. Now I shot it the other day or yesterday and I put the video up and, and it worked perfectly. I love the quality of the images. I love the, the autofocus I think is absolutely amazing. Um, I think I had two missed shots in the whole shoot with this girl. Um, it, everything about the camera I loved. I loved the low light. I thought it was astonishing how good low light was. Um, it was just a good camera and the inexpensive lenses from Panasonic and, and Sigma, I, they worked beautifully on this camera. Unfortunately. <laughs> so when I finished the session, I shut the camera off, I put it in my bag, I went home. About an hour later, I pulled the camera out and the camera was pretty warm. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I don't have heat on. <laughs> um, and I tried to turn the camera on because it was in the off position and it wouldn't come on. The battery was completely depleted. I put the second battery in, turned it on, it came on. Um, but then when I changed the shutter, it wouldn't change shutter speeds. It was just a slow shutter speed and I couldn't change the shutter anymore. So for some reason, the camera randomly came on in the case and then did something with the shutter mechanism. Now, unlike the M11 where I was willing and able to go, okay, give me another camera, let's try this again. <laughs> because I love the M system so much, I didn't want to give up on the M11. You know, like I sent the Nikon in and, and the form factor, it just doesn't work for me, but I, I knew I had to have a backup. So I figured, you know, stay with the Leica system, get something different than what you have as a backup. You never know when you may need it. At this point, I was just like, Nope, <laughs> sending it back, that's it, I'm done. So yeah, like I had the patience of a saint with the M11 because I want this camera to work, I want this camera to be perfect because I love it that much and I love shooting with it that much. But <laughs> the SL2S, not so much. Um, it went back, It was that was it, I was done. I was just like, it was one time and I'm like, nope, that's it, I'm finished. So I just need a backup. You know, I, I'm not worried about the other stuff. If I need a camera for anything else, which I barely need a camera for anything else other than the M system, I can just rent one for that time period and say, screw it. I'll just eat up it, eat up the charge and say, move on. So I, I think I'm going to go the M10 route, just get a, a, a nice M10. They, they are very reliable. They're the same form factor. I'm going to enjoy shooting it. Uh, it's a good sensor in there, so, um, but I just wanted to give you an update on the Leica SL2S and hope you have a good laugh with me <laughs> about this, because this is, remember, the this would make the sixth Leica body, <laughs> both M and SL2S, uh, that have died on me. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I'll, I'll keep you updated on, on if I do decide to go with the M10. Thanks for watching, as always, and have a great day.